Hi guys! Hi. So welcome back. My name is Andrea and I'm the fearless love coach. I show strong, sassy, successful single women how to attract and keep Mr. Right. Yes, I am. So this is James. Hi, I'm James. And so today we're going to talk about is there trouble in paradise if you don't see or realize the sun is shining. I live in Manchester but I'm not in Manchester right now. We're actually in San Juan. Beautiful scene. Beautiful in Puerto Sun. Rico. It's about 83 degrees today and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Perfect and is the word I'm looking for. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I don't know about you, but when you're in a relationship, you want to have a good time, right? You want to have a good relationship. And especially if you're in a long-term relationship, sometimes it can get a bit boring. It can get a bit stale. You know, that's one of the biggest questions I get asked is, how do you recreate the spark? Or how do you get the spark back? Or how do you keep the love alive? That's my certainly one of my top three most frequently asked questions. So you might be in a long-term relationship right now, and you may be thinking, it's time for a holiday, it's time for us to have a break. Maybe some of you are at that point where you think, if you don't go away, then you could end up breaking that relationship. Or maybe you think, if you don't go away, your relationship is going to die. So some of you might be using uh, a holiday as a way to glue your relationship back together. But the thing is, the problem is, is that it might not work. Sorry that I had to say that, but it's true. And so what we want to do is share with you three simple tea, uh, keys, three simple tips that if you incorporate, that you do, can make the whole a whole difference. It could actually save your relationship if you're at that point where things aren't working. But maybe things are working out. I would still suggest you follow what we're going to suggest for you to do. Why? Because I want you to keep that relationship going. I want you to keep it alive, okay? So the first thing that we're going to talk about is actually to discuss what your expectations are about your holiday. Yeah. Can you say why? So you know what you're getting yourself into basically. Yeah. What, uh, what do you want to get out of the vacation? What does she want to get out of the vacation? And how do you make sure everybody walks away? Hey, we're in San Juan. There's some nice music going yeah, on. Yeah, right? party time. It's always party time. It's great. <laughs> yeah, so at the end of the day, you walk away uh, feeling both of you feeling refreshed. You've gotten what you want out of the trip and you're looking forward to the next one because that's the goal, right? To stay together long term and have the next one. Yeah. So, yeah. So, in order to do that, it's really important to discuss what your expectations are for a holiday. Some of you may, you can hear all, all these sounds. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And so, um, some of you may plan your holidays way in advance six months even to a year in advance and the thing is the place that you are when you actually book your holiday to the place where you might be in six months a year months uh, down the road may be completely right. different you may have actually discussed at that point what you both want for your holiday maybe you've never discussed it at all you've just assumed what you think the other person may like but I say it's really essential before you go to find out um, what they're looking for so one simple simple question to ask would be how do they want to relax maybe you think you know it but it's best just to ask because uh, maybe they've been busy and what they want to real uh, what they want to do is just lie by the beach or maybe they, they might still may still have been busy but what they really need most is to for them to de-stress is to be really really active so it's really important to have a discussion before you go away sadly you know what I'm giving you this advice but we didn't do it <laughs> we, we failed in that one I'm gonna take one and say yeah maybe yeah, that's something to do with me I'm not a big trainer uh, and so I had in my head honestly I had a concept of what uh, what I kind of wanted to do and frankly she was pretty vivid she told me what she wanted to do and I just kind of washed right over <laughs> and uh, so we got here I'm like okay we can do this we can do that and we can do this she's like I could just feel she wasn't picking up. I'm like, what, what's going on? I, this, I thought this is what we wanted to do. No, that's kind of what I wanted to do at the time, or at least that's what I thought that we wanted to do as a couple. And it turns out it wasn't. Yeah. And um, so we had a discussion, and it took time out of our trip. It took some some effort out of our trip. And had we done that ahead of time, or had I cued in to, to, to that discussion in more detail before, it would have made things a lot more efficient and, and fun. So sitting down, having the conversation, and really nailing down what it is that you're, you're looking for out of the trip and understanding, I think more importantly, understanding what your partner's looking for out of the trip and making sure you guys are on the same page 
to me that that's 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 the gist I think that's what we're trying to get to here yeah exactly about getting on the same page now mm -hmm. if you're in a long-term relationship maybe you've been fighting maybe uh, resentment and frustrations mm -hmm. have been built up you likely of course be very disconnected so you want to come together don't assume that you're on the same page don't assume that your partner knows where where you're at you know a big a big key in any successful relationship is about communication so really please let them know what it is that you're looking for right. what ideally do you want find out what they're ideally looking for and hopefully it's not <laughs> you both completely different, completely different because Oops, you know, um, that's, that's a whole different story. Yeah. But, you know, if you love your partner and they love yes. you, then at least it's about finding just one or at least one commonality. Yeah. Something that you two can do together is so very important, okay? So that was number one. Have the discussion of what your expectations are before you go away on holiday. Don't do like what we did. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so on to number two. What's gonna make your relationship, I'm getting attacked here, mm -hmm. <laughs> successful about going on holiday? We've just shared with you number one. So number two, what I think is important is about having physical activity together. Now before you think I'm talking about sex, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's where mine went, my mind went, that's yeah, exactly. what she was talking about. Yeah, he's going, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be, it could be for you, right? But we're talking physical activity and you decide what that means. And so for me, from my perspective, the purpose and the reason I suggest physical activity is that if you're, you know, let's say you, you live together, for example, perhaps you're married, maybe you have a family, oftentimes, certainly more often the case from um, from what I've understood from you guys, what you tell me is that sex goes, physical contact goes, the intimacy goes, and you start inevitably to pull apart. So what we want to do, if you're going on holiday, especially if you're going on holiday to keep a relationship together, maybe at that make or break mm -hmm. time, then how do you get reconnected? So a wonderful way is to do that through physical activity. Let's say, you know, if you're at home and you're bored too, if you're doing something physical together, then you've got something to actually talk about. So you may not know this through physical activity, you're gonna release the, the happy hormones, all those lovely, wonderful endorphins. Oh my goodness, it's so windy here. We're getting attacked. We're being attacked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but we'll keep on going. It releases all those happy <laughs> hormones. You're having a shared experience with your partner through something physical, and it can actually really if you're disconnected to connect you and strengthen that bond. Um, so I don't necessarily say that it has to be anything extreme, you know, you don't have to climb mountains or anything like that, but certainly something physical. Yeah. What do you think? I think you're exactly right. I know for me, uh, I play a lot of tennis, so that gets my endorphins going. It, it kind of makes me happy in a certain way, but it doesn't draw on my partner. And so when I get a chance to be isolated on my vacation, uh, my holiday, as you guys say. Holiday. holiday. He's going to say he's yeah. American yeah. vacation. I'm one of those guys, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, you, you get the chance to, to, to spend some alone time and get outside of what you're doing. So, for me, it's tennis. When I come here, I, you know, Andrew is not into tennis right now, at least. Maybe someday. But, uh, yeah, doing something physical together that, like you said, you get your hormones, your, your hormones, your endorphins pumping through your blood. Get some joy going back and forth, feeling like you've accomplished something together. If it's as simple as doing some yoga, I learned some new yoga things this week. Uh, or it might be jet skiing and figuring out that, hey, I was brave enough and pushed through the waves and my partner was there. And it all worked out and it was fun and we did it together. We kind of chased each other around on the, on the, on the lake uh, or on the ocean. That, that's, that's what I'm talking about, just getting out and getting that feeling, getting that, you know, body movement and getting excited yeah and so like um, James was saying he really loves to play tennis mm -hmm. I don't because I can't play tennis at this moment in time but I do enjoy yoga and so he wants to be active and so we found a way a commonality remember what I said in the first and um, in part one is that you've got to find something that you can do together so we did we did yoga together and it was it, it was, was a blast it was it, it was, was wonderful it was yeah. it was really great yeah. We got to talk about something new. Mm -hmm. It was, it may not seem adventurous, but it was adventurous it in was. terms of the, the challenge for both of us. Yeah. 
and doing something doing something new and having that physical connection we made sure that we were we were touching each other occasional tag yeah and occasional you, kiss maybe if you know about if you watch the watch the five love languages when we talk about the importance of love language and one of our love language is about the importance of touch so if you're not being intimate maybe you know the, the thing is like james was saying if you do something exciting possibly physically so you've got you've got to, you've got to gauge where you're at maybe you need to generate some thrill and excitement so you do something extreme like jet skiing or maybe it is climbing a mountain or skiing or, or, or something or maybe what you need if you're both li living a very fast-paced world lifestyle and you need to chill and relax maybe for you it's doing something like yoga that you but the most important thing is that you do it together look do guys You've chosen your partner for whatever reason you've chosen to be with them. So the fact that you've done that is that you're saying you want to be with them and they're saying they want to be with you. For me, life is short, so I would prefer as much as possible to be as happy together as possible. And so you do what you can to create that together. So listen to number one, that was number two about doing something physical together which may mean sex may, hopefully, hopefully hopefully at some point it leads to that right well that's the thing and that's the thing when you do something physical it could be jet skiing which is thrilling it could be yoga which is calm and relaxing and there's yeah. also touch if you do partner yoga we were doing couples yoga together mm -hmm. well we made it couples yoga mm -hmm. <laughs> with a little wine and bar <laughs> um, then it can lead to something more yeah. right it can reignite that sense of Get the Passion. feelings, get the get juices flowing. Flowing again. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So do what you need to do, guys. Get the love that you want. So that was number two, and we're going to quickly move on to number three. Number three. You're going away on holiday. One of the key things that I really would love to share with you is about taking the opportunity to do something new. See as a sense of adventure. If you've been bored in your relationships, and that does happen, you lose the spark. A great way to see the holiday or vacation, as James vacation. would say, vacation, mm -hmm. is to see it as something new. I know some of you actually will want to go away with your partners purposely to have those discussions about what's going wrong in your relationship. I don't necessarily see that as being a good idea, to be honest. Yeah, I think it's dangerous, but I maybe... Maybe yeah, that's too long of a subject for a day, but yeah. Yeah, I think that's a dangerous thing. I want you to see it as something different to generate some level of excitement back into your relationship. Certainly, a to build or rebuild that connection. And so, the thing that we're going to be talking about, which may surprise you, the thing to talk about and can consider on your holiday is food. Oh, food. 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 Glorious food. food. I'm the absolutely dreadful singer, but I really enjoy doing it. I'm really good if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're bringing up the topic of food. I don't know about you, but you're going to be eating food every day of mm -hmm. your life. It's integral to our relationships. To society as a whole. Obviously, yeah. obviously, if you want to live. Mm -hmm. So, it's such a big part of our life, and you, you might not realize it that. You know, 30, 40 years ago, we all used to sit around the dinner table and share a meal together. And that may not, they may not be happening in your life right now. I know that's changed a lot since since I was younger. And so food is really important. It's very intimate. Intimate is how we can share, how yeah. we connect, how we can bond. But the problem remains when you both have different ideas of what you enjoy food-wise. That's right. Especially on vacation. Especially on holiday. On holiday. Exactly. <laughs> so thankfully, both James and I um, have a. We're both big foodies. I love food. So and I love food. So that's what we've got in mm. in common. We both love to relax in the sunshine, and yep. we both like to be active. So in mm. terms of doing things together, being able to bond and keep that connection mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Is, is easy for us but yeah. the problem is if you've lost it and you may be struggling right now so food what will you do if you both eat differently what are your suggestions mm, my suggestions is uh, again like last time uh, talk about it before you come see what the local food is mm -hmm. uh, and have that be an opportunity to get out of your element to uh, experience what's local instead of what she's used to eating he's used to eating and use that as an opportunity to kind of both of you expand and uh, give yourselves a chance to go outside of the box and try something new. 
you yeah. know, and see if you enjoy it together. If you enjoy it, great. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And um, you might not. You may feel as if, like some of you have said, that you're you're sick of what. You might be feel as if you're sick of doing doing things for your partner. Mm -hmm. You may use the word compromise, and you're sick of yes. compromising. It's the last thing you want to do. But again, I go back to you've chosen to be with your partner, and if you continue to choose to be with them, you might as well do your best to bring yourself together. And so maybe you're not a big foodie like, like us, and maybe you don't like some of the things he might like. We've been attacked again by mm -hmm. the trees. Um, he might not like some of the things that you might like, but try and find just one thing. Or maybe just, just try and do something different. Different. And if you're going someplace exotic, there's going to be some exotic food. See, and Juan has some monfungo, which, you know. Monfungo. Monfungo. Plantain. plantain he says plantain. It plantain. Is, it is plantain. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, uh, try it. See what you see if you like it. And uh, I'm going to use the word uh, compromise. Maybe take one for the team is a little bit better uh, approach. Uh, if, if you don't like it, that's okay. Take one for the team that night because maybe she wants to try it. Maybe it's important to her. Um, I know in my past, I've I, I'm a big seafood guy. So I would want sushi, I'd want sushi, I'd want sushi, and yeah, I wouldn't get it. And, uh, in your past relationship, yeah. Yeah, in my past relationship. So, you know, it might not seem like a big big deal, but if you go on a vacation and you walk away not feeling like you got to explore the local food, not oh, what you like, yeah. or what you like, what you wanted to get out of the, the, the flair of the day, um, you're gonna walk away a little bit disappointed and you're not gonna be excited next time to, 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 to plan that vacation and, and spend time with somebody. And you just don't, there's no reason to have that get in the way. Talk about it a little bit ahead of time and uh, take one for the team if need be. <laughs> he, and I, he and I may argue about this, actually about taking one for the team. <laughs> We're making this video and we're thinking, yeah, this is gonna be great. But it might cause more arguments, <laughs> which is quite funny. We'll see, probably not. <laughs> probably not, not really. Um, but yeah, see it as a way to connect, a way yes. to, to bond, a way to share something together. Okay. Something new and together. Yeah, and because you might not be doing it at home. It might be the first time you've been connecting in years. And, um, you know, go out for dessert. Maybe just one day just eat desserts all day or be silly. Or maybe you try and feed each other. Just do something to get out of the box, get out of your comfort yes. zone, okay? So I just want to thank you guys for listening. Thank James for being here. Obviously not in Puerto Rico, but doing the video with mm -hmm. me. It's good that you get to hear his voice, a man's voice, you know I'm big on attracting and keeping Mr. Right. It's essential, it's important. Oh my god, sorry, I've just attacked him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's kicked up, the wind is pretty bad. <laughs> Keep that love alive. Don't have trouble in paradise and don't assume that if you're going to be in paradise that everything's going to be okay. But do what you can, empower yourself, educate yourself to make sure that you have a great time in paradise or wherever you go on your holiday so thank you again for watching and i wish you well bye for now bye bye